So by now you probably have a good idea of what a function is. But in this video, we're just going to quickly view and also extend the idea of a function to several variables. Because we're going to be encountering many more complicated functions in multivariable calculus. So a function is a relation or some sort of rule that assigns inputs to some output. Okay, so the things that it takes as inputs are all objects in some set called the domain. So it takes objects in the domain of the function and assigns them to a single object in the codomain. And so notice how I said a single object in the codomain. So the same object in the domain cannot link to two separate objects in the codomain. So this orange arrow is not allowed because that input is already linked to an output. However, we can have two inputs linking to the same output. That's not a problem. So for example, say we have this function here. So first notice how this function is taking two inputs x and y. And then the output is one real number. So you plug in the x and y and you get a value for the function, which we often call z. So the domain of this function is the set of all pairs of real numbers. And remember, we call that R squared. R squared is just the set which contains every pair of real numbers. So for example, 3 comma 5, 2 comma 4, negative 1 comma 7, they are all pairs of real numbers in this set R squared. So unlike most functions you've encountered before, where all you do is plug in a number x, in this function you need to plug in a pair of numbers x and y. And so we call x and y the independent variables of this function. And so the number that depends on these independent variables is the output of the function. And the outputs belong to the codomain of the function, which in this case is just a, uh, because you get a single real number from the function. Again, we denote this with a z many times, and so z is the dependent variable, because its value completely depends on what values you plug in for x and y. So we can represent this function by drawing separately the domain and the codomain. So the domain is two-dimensional, and each point in the domain is a pair of real numbers. So each pair of real numbers in the domain is linked to a single real number in the output. And so again, each input in the domain can only be linked to a single output in the codomain. And so on a graph, you recognize this as the vertical line test. In two dimensions, the vertical line is just along the y-axis. So for example, a circle fails the vertical line test. So a circle is not a function. And so in three dimensions, the vertical line test is going to be a line along the z-axis, not the y-axis, because the z is the output of the function. So if a particular surface fails the vertical line test, that means for a single point x and y, it has two separate outputs of z, which is not allowed if it's a function. Most of the functions in multivariable calculus are going to be of this form. A function of x and y yields a real number z. And so we can also represent this function as a mapping from r squared to r. Because again, we take an input of a pair of real numbers and our output is a single real number. So it maps objects in R squared to R. The domain of these types of functions 
is always a subset of R squared. And a subset just means everything in the domain is contained within R squared. But everything in R squared is not necessarily in the domain. So for example, this function here, this can only be defined when x squared minus y squared is greater or equal to zero. So the domain of this function is all of the pairs of real numbers in R squared such that x squared minus y squared is greater or equal to zero. So we can't, we can't just pick any object in R squared, you know, we can't pick any pair of real numbers, we have to make sure the square root is defined. And then the codomain is the set of possible outputs. And in this case, that is a, the real number line. But the image or range of the function is the set of actual outputs. So the codomain is like the space in which the objects in the image or the range live. So all of the outputs of the function come from the real number line a, uh, but every single real number may not necessarily be linked to an input in the domain. So for example, in this function here, the image is all real number z such that z is greater or equal to zero. Because when we, when we take the square root of x squared minus y squared, it's always going to be positive or zero. So again, we can draw a little diagram from the domain to the codomain. And so in this case, we can say the codomain of the function is the real number line a, uh, but the image is all of the real numbers greater or equal to zero. And so we will also be dealing with functions that are not real valued. Real valued functions means you get a real number as the output. We will also see vector valued functions, which means you plug in some numbers and then you get a pair or a triple of numbers out as the output. So for example, many times we have a function which goes from a to a cubed. So you plug in a single real number t and then as an output you get a triple of real numbers. Or we could say this is a vector with three components. So for each value of t, you get a separate vector. So for example, if I plug in 2, then I get the vector 4, 4, 5. So this function has three outputs, which is different than all of the functions you've probably worked with before, which are usually real-valued functions. So it assigns every point on the t number line to a point in three-dimensional space. You know, we can call the components of the output vector x, y, and z. And so we can have a function be a map from any space to any other space. For example, we could have a function from r squared to r to the fourth, which means the inputs are a pair of real numbers x and y, and then you get four separate numbers as an output, or a, in other words, a vector with four components. And so if we were to draw a diagram, each point in the, each pair of numbers in the domain maps to a point in the four-dimensional codomain, which obviously I cannot draw.